So if you're looking for options while not making your regular salon visit, Shobana has some DIY options to get the job done. Hey, Shobana, you're going to take us through three of your favorite ways to get the job done right, right now. So what are we looking at today? Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to wax. I'm going to show you how to shave your face, okay. and I'm going to tell you what the heck epilator is, because I just found out, um, and they're all really great ways to remove your hair. Okay, I love this. Let's start with, uh, let's start with your first one. So we're going to start with wax. Regardless of actually whichever hair removal method you choose, make sure you clean your face. You've exfoliated a day or two before. You want to get rid of any dry skin, avoid ingrowns. And also do a patch test. The last thing you want to do is react to it. Um, I love waxing because it provides long-term results. It pulls the hair out at the roots. You don't have to um, do a lot of work for four to six weeks. And it keeps your skin like nice and smooth because you have to exfoliate. It actually removes a layer of your skin. But when I find when you get to like the retail outlets, it gets confusing, right? There's tons of different options. So first up, you have your classic strips, okay? They look like this. Um, they're all pre-packaged, ready to go. You basically apply and remove. But you have to remember that these guys are really great for facial hair removal, arm hair removal, and anyone that has fine hair throughout the rest of their body. If you're like me and you have coarser hair, Definitely opt for something that's like a cold or warm wax. It's the same thing, the microwavable uh, wax. And I find that also online what's becoming really popular are hot waxes. These guys pretty much just look like this, very hard. You put them onto a hot plate, and it's actually the wax itself that you use to remove your hair. You do not need to use strips, but this is more professional, um, and I find that the cold warm wax is the easiest to use and applicable to everybody. So I'm gonna show you how to use that today. I'm using the Persian uh, cold wax. I personally love it. Tracy, it's nostalgic. My mom trained me on how to wax myself using the Persian, and it's 100% natural. When you warm up your wax, you want to make sure that it's more of like a honey consistency. Mm -hmm. And the key here is to apply a very thin layer of product, otherwise it gets messy and sticky and all sorts of bad stuff happens. And you're gonna apply the product in the same direction of the hair growth, okay? And you can see I'm gonna apply it on a 90 degree angle, such as that. And you see how thin it is? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna apply a wax strip Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pull this in the same, actually, I'm going to pull this in the opposite direction of hair growth. Ta-da! Did that hurt? And you have all this fun hair. No, not at all. It didn't oh. hurt at all. I find that when you do it well and you don't pull it up, you really, really have to focus on pulling it across and parallel to your arm. It doesn't oh, hurt at all. Oh, okay. That's a good tip. And remember, when you're waxing, your hair length has to be about a quarter of an inch for it to get pulled out at the root. Um, anything less, I would wait to wax. Okay, so you have to have like, you know, a, a good amount of hair in order to use the wax. Now, would you ever yeah. attempt? Yeah, like this much. Yeah, a little stubble. Would you ever attempt a Brazilian Chauvinat, like by yourself at home? <laughs> No. Uh, no, I would just recommend you learn how to trim. <laughs> okay, now you say shaving is underrated. So this is one of my most favorite things. I feel like we look at shaving your face as more male aligned, but uh -huh. so many women do it, Tracy, and we just don't know about it because we do it secretly. Mm. Um, but the benefit of shaving your face is that you get to remove the hair and peach fuzz really fast, but you are also exfoliating your face at the same time because you're scraping off dead skin, okay? And what that means is that you get better product penetration. Anyone that tries shaving swears by it. I like to use a facial razor. This is $5, okay, online. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you wanna have your skin very cleansed. You're gonna hold your skin taut, just like this. You don't want any nicks or scratches. And I'm gonna lay this right against my skin and in the same direction as my hair growth, that's different than waxing, I'm gonna just graze my I'm gonna graze the surface of my face. You don't wanna actually press hard. You really just wanna graze the surface of the face. When you're done, remember just to use some water to rinse off any excess hair uh, that might be left on your face that could actually clog your pores. And use an antiseptic if you find that you break out like witch hazel, which will again prevent breakouts. But this is amazing, I absolutely love it. I've been using those for my eyebrows. I didn't think to use them everywhere else. I can now yes. shave with Leo in the morning. Yes. We can just both do our little routine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, next up are epilators. What are they, how do they work? 
Yeah, I didn't even know they existed. So basically, there's gonna be, you have a machine like this. It kind of looks like a razor, right? It works like waxing in the sense that it pulls right from the root. So that means that it's long lasting results, but there's little tweezers in here mm. that actually is what's plucking the hairs from the root. The nice thing about this is that you can either use it wet or dry, as long as it's on the box. This is a dry one. And again, you're gonna hold your area about 90 degrees to this machine and lightly graze the top of it. It's basically tweezing out all the hairs. I do find that's a little bit more painful than waxing because it's a little bit slower. Um, but if you are someone that has more coarser or thicker hair, definitely get a epilator that has more than 20 tweezers. This has 20 tweezers. This is by Braun. I would recommend maybe like 48 tweezers, for example. But people love epilators as well. So this is definitely a great option to replace shaving while you're in the shower, for example, if you want longer term results. I love it. Thank you so much for testing those products for us.